All right, hi guys. So today we're going to do the pick a stitch. Again, I'm sorry this took so long to get back to doing it. And let's get a bit of there we go. As you can see, this is the diagonal trip. Now this was done in a lighter weight yarn. I am going to do it with the odd end of um, pyramid, uh, pyramid puzzle yarn I have because when I worked this up yesterday, you can see the bumps a little bit better, of course being a bulky. And um, this would be pretty in a blanket. So it's a staggering type stitch. And we're just going to get right into it. So the again, the name of this one is called Digital Trip. I'm going to put that in there. We are going to do the multiple of 6 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, so what we're going to do is get our slip stitch. And then with it, we're going to do the multiples of 6. We're not going to make, we're just going to do a sample. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, do two more, plus one. Okay, so the first stitch we're going to do is going to be easy. It's just going to be going single crochet all the way across. For those who may single crochet, it's just going through, grabbing your yarn and going through two loops. This pattern only uses the single crochet and a trip treble or so um, there's not a whole lot of different type of stitches so it makes it easy so what we're going to do just do this all the way across guys and I will see you at the end okay so I'm doing my last one if you did the sample size the same as me it's going to be 14 stitches so that's I said that's our multiples of six which is 12 plus 2 and we just did one extra chain for the turn. So now we're going to turn it. We're going to chain one. And our very first stitch in this uh, second row is going to be a single crochet. Then a triple, treble. And that's go through two. When I do the next one, I go a little bit slower. So this next one, we're going to do a single. This is going to get us our little bump on the other side so one two we're going to go through our stitch get a yarn go through two go through two and go through two now now we're going to do three single crochets And then we're going to do it again. Run over twice. Go through our stitch. Grab us some yarn. Go through two. Grab yarn. Go through two. Go through the last two. And then we're going to do our single crochet. Get our yarn to lay down a little bit. Do another. Wait a minute, did I do? Yep, I did. Okay, I'm going to make sure I did my single crochet in between them. Go through two, go through two, and go through two. So this should be four stitches left, and we're going to do single crochets in them. All right. Now we're going to do. chain one and you're going to see here this does give us a little bit more of a bump now this row is just single crochets so I'm just going to we'll get started but I'm going to let you guys do that on your own this is a good way to count and make sure you have 14 stitches so just do that over on the tops of your stitches I see in a little bit okay I did my single crochets I counted I do have 14 and sometimes you got to pop your little 
nubs or bumps back out because when you're holding it so now on this row we're going to do remember here we just did this one we did one single crochet then started but we're going to do two this is going to help of course stagger them and make them go that diagonal so we're going to do our treble And then we're going to do a single. And we're going to do our next treble. And then here we're going to do the three, three single crochets. And let's do our travel. Oops, make sure I run over twice. Our single. And then our travel. And now we're going to end with three single crochets. Now in between each of these rows, we're just going to do the row of single crochets. So that's what we're going to do here. And as you can see, they're start seeing the pattern or how it's going to climb up. And there is a total of nine rows we're going to be doing to get uh, one, two, three four sets of these and then we'll talk about how um, I continue after that because it really doesn't give you the directions for that so you can um, I'm sure you can make your different choices if you want so this is your repeat single crochet so we're going to see you at the end in just a little bit okay so this is the reason why I'm going to encourage always to count because I did this once and it came out short one so I had to go back. I had missed a, a stitch. So it's always good to count and you know make sure you haven't lost a spot because it would be easy to do. All right, so we are on row six. See, is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, my row six. So now we've chained one. We're gonna go into three. As you, you can kind of see the pattern here. We started out with one single crochet to two. Now we're going to do the three. We're going to do the same pattern. We're just going to do a treble, a single, a treble. Do you guys have a suggestion on a wobbly table how to get this not being like that? I love any kind of help I could get. I can't change the setup. I'm, I mean, all the legs are sturdy. It's just maybe the type of table. Okay, so we did our two. We did one, two, and three. And then we're going to do our sets of trebles again. So as you can, this is the pretty much the repeat. We're just changing our beginning single crochets and here we'll just show you'll hear that in a minute okay come on come on and then we're going to end up with two single crochets there we go see there So between these is always the same. Treble, single, treble, one, two, three singles, treble, single, treble. It's our ends that are going to help us make that go in the diagonal direction. And as you can guess, yes, the next row is our single crochets. So let's go ahead and let you do that. And we are going to be getting our last set of these. And then we'll work that pattern Go in the other direction. I'm going to show you where it's real easy to miss a stitch. So this is like the top of my little puff. 
it's this one right here that can be skipped. So if you get to the end and you don't have the right number amount of stitches, check there because that is the one that I found I, um, I miss. All right, go ahead and we're going to do the last tier. We're going to chain one. Let's do the next row. So we have our eighth row and we're going to do four single crochets. One. Four. Then let's start our sets. By that I mean we're going to do our trebles and then our single crochets that doesn't change in these rows at all. This part always stays the same. And this is where we do our three single crochets. And then our last set of trebles. Trebles, trebles. And then we're going to end just with a single crochet. Now as far as the book, this is where the pattern ends. So now you can see, hopefully you can, our little bumps all going in a diagonal. And if you see the sample, what I've done, I've just made them go back. So we're going to do a row of single crochets and then I'm what I'm going to do I'm just going to do this pattern backwards so I'm going to go from um, instead of row one I'm going to repeat row six four and two so it'll go back this direction so it'll be the way that is now um, if you didn't, then of course you're just going to have your diagonals go there, and there, and there. I kind of like the flow of this. And like I said, it doesn't tell me what to do after the sample size here. But, um, that seems, you know, to me it just makes sense. So, go ahead and do your single crochet, and then we'll do show you what I'm talking about. In case I'm not explaining it good. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn, I've already done my chain one, and this time I'm going to do three. One, two, three. We'll see if I'm doing it the right way here in a second. If you want them just to go in the same direction and not zigzag back and forth, then um, and that might be the way this is designed. But again, I haven't seen this used in a pattern yet. Let's see, we got my two, so we're going to do four, three single crochets. Pay attention where I'm at here. Okay, well, yep, yeah, here we hold on. I did one too many single crochets. Talking and working. Pay attention to myself here. All right. There's one, two, three. Then we'll do our treble.
because we should have two single crochets and I wasn't getting that at the end now as you can see we're going back this direction now and that's where we're going to start getting this pattern because we went up and now we're going back and then we can go back up again and I started to go back the other direction on the sample now if this is not what you want and you just want the continuous um, claim then what we'll do what you can do is just go back and start with row one and I am going to um, I guess I'll show you what that would look like. Hold on. Well, it would have helped if I hit record. So, um, catch me in midstream. Mainly is to show you the effect of it. So, this is if I went back and repeated row one. To me, it doesn't just flow as well but everybody has their own way they like it so just to give you an option and then i'm just going to go back and fix my there we go see and then it would just start over again see that and i prefer it to go up and back that's just my preference so that's how i'm going to do it so I'm going to get back off and I'm going to fix my row to where um, I think the pattern just flows a little bit better and I'll be right with you. Okay. So like I said, this is, we're repeating six, four, and two, and then we'll go back to four, two, I mean, <laughs> four, six, eight, and then you can go back and forth. So... We're just going to do the single crochet, and I'm going to do one more row so you can kind of just see how the pattern goes. As long as you just work it backwards, back and forth, so you'll have an eight row repeat. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then two, yeah, eight row repeat. I'm just making sure I'm counting everything right. So, let's do one more row. Or two more. Like I said, this is just a single row. We're going to do one more row to kind of let you help hopefully see. And then I'm going to repeat row four. We're going to do one, two, I'm going to put our three single crochets. And our treble sets. And where we ended with two before, we should be ending with three. So we're going to stare. If, if, hopefully that makes sense. We are just always going to be, you know, ending or starting with one less or one more. And then so you can see how that looks. Let's do that. There we go. And it'll go back. Because we do a single crochet. So let's look at the book. Just if you have a pattern. Um, let me take this off because I think it helps a little bit. Hopefully we can see. This is how we started off. With one. We're gonna not going to look at our single crochets because that's what that. Then we start off with two. Then three. This is the whole pattern. I don't know why I didn't just, just focus on this one. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. 
that's how our eight rows will look like. And it ends, of course, the opposite way, four, three, two, one. But what I did here after this single crochet, I went back because we started at four, so three, two, one. So I just kind of repeated this side, you know, just work it backwards. And then, of course, when you get down to here, just repeat it back that way. And um, I do have, I like the bulky, so I am going to probably, I don't know if I have, I don't know whether, see, I'm trying to think. I have a whole bunch of, oh, sorry. It's not a bulky, it's a full weight, but I do have a whole bunch of this. And I'm kind of wondering how that would look in the cinnamon swirl. So um, I have that. And bulky wise, I think it'd be pretty in a cream. I just in a uh, basic, you know, pretty blanket like that. But every, most of the other ones I have, I don't really have a whole lot of bulky. Let me see what you are. And I don't know that I might have just have to kind of get more. Uh, well, that's a um, hmm. My puzzle yarn is the bulkiest I think I have. I might have to look into that, but I don't think I have. Um, I'm looking at some of my other yarns. Yeah, most of it's worsted weight or thinner. So, I might have to. I do want to do this. I think it'd be pretty. I think it'd be pretty in um, a cream, even. This is pretty with the this little bit of the um, multi shades in it. And I might just have to play around and see what I can do with some of them. It might be pretty as a baby blanket if you use, if you like Chanel or the velour type yarn. Um... Let me see. I'm talking about like this type of yarn. That might be make it a pretty baby blanket. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be posting next week's Pick a Stitch soon. I still have to make a couple choices and work up some patterns. This is um, a better stitch for a thicker, like a tweed or... Um, bulky yarn it's uh, actually suggested attractive and crisp plain cotton okay or chunky tweed all right this is just yes, this is a chunky um puzzle yarn but okay that's it for this uh pick a stitch and i hope you enjoyed it please like follow um share it with anybody you think might like to share learn the stitch and I will be seeing you later and look out for the pick a stitch and hopefully um, your, your one wins. So I will be talking to you later. Bye guys.